Hello and welcome back to my channel. Guess what's coming up next for paint? All right guys, this is what's coming up next, a Tundra. And it's gonna be the same color, but it's gonna be an overall paint job. I'm gonna show you step by step what I'm gonna need to do. These are fiberglass. I'm gonna show you how to prep them uh, in order for you to paint fiberglass. But yeah, this is what's coming up next. It does have a couple of door dings here and there. I am gonna debadge it but everything's gonna be coming off the door handles are gonna be coming off mirrors are gonna be coming off uh the moldings everything this is gonna be replaced this is a sticker guys this is gonna be replaced so there's gonna be a lot of things that are gonna be done to this truck so let's just uh, get started i hope you like it i hope you stay with me so that i can show you how this truck's gonna come out all right let's just begin first of all i'm gonna remove the side of the beds on both sides it does have bolts right there that are gonna have to come off in order for this side of the bed to be removed now this is done because this is an aftermarket part uh, the customer installed these on both sides and the fender so it's easily removable right there I have another bolt and there's a couple of more bolts underneath so let me just remove these and I'll bring you back so that I can show you how we're gonna start prepping this fiberglass paint both sides of the bed have been removed already let's just go and begin here I got both the uh, sides of the beds now these are fiberglass what you're gonna have to do you're gonna have to sand it you're gonna have to sand this white primer uh, you do not I repeat do not want to apply paint on top of this primer uh, this is a primer gel coating type of a uh, material that they that they apply and it's no good for paint you need to sand it down and uh, prep it that's what we're gonna do first I'm gonna come back I'm gonna start sanding it with you can start with 180 but I'm gonna do it with 220 uh, this panel it's nice and smooth so let's start sanding it with uh, 220 After sanding it with the 220, everything has been completed. Everything is good. Now you gotta get yourself a real good high build primer. It has to be a 2K high build primer. Do not add 1K, it ain't gonna work. Also, guys, if I sound funny, it's because I'm a little bit under the weather, but let's just uh just finish it up. This is a primer I'm gonna be using, a DTM, and it's a primer filler. I'm going to apply three coats. Um, this is four to one. Four parts of the primer, one part of the activator. I have cleaned everything with a wax and grease remover. They're ready to go. Let's uh, put the primer on the gun and start spraying.
after three coats of uh, high build primer there it is I'm just gonna let it dry for about a week I want this primer to fully cure before I can start block sanding that's the next step the truck as you can see it's uh, it's already getting worked on fenders are already primed and ready to block I'm just waiting for those couple of days for the primer to dry well but some of the dents some of the door dings that it had they're being fixed I still need to put some primer here I don't know why I didn't apply it but no worries I need to remove the windshield the windshield is gonna come off we're gonna replace it but uh, the doors the doors are gonna come off mirrors moldings you know that you know me I remove everything from the from the vehicle so that I can get the paint all the way so that's it on both sides it's the same but we're gonna start painting we're gonna start painting the tailgate let me show you let's jump into that all right here is the tailgate now it's been fixed it had a little dent there it's been fixed everything has been uh, worked on this back part I'm not gonna paint it because a uh, customer is gonna apply some uh, rhino lining I believe uh, so that's not gonna be they're gonna resand it anyways so I'm not gonna be repainting that but I'm gonna be painting these sides I don't think they put rhino lining on those so I'm gonna be repainting that and let's get started I've had a lot of questions as to how good the sealer from Eurochem is guys this is one of the best sealers that I have used they have so many different colors so I highly highly recommend them that's the only sealer that I have used for a long time so really really good sealer There it is, the sealer. Only needs one coat. And about the gun, so far so good. So far so good. Let's see how it does in the metallics. Because uh, this paint job is going to be all metallic. So let's just uh, prep the metallic paint and get it ready for that paint on the tailgate. Also, guys, if you're wondering when I, where I got this uh, contraption, I'll leave all the information in the description below guys where you can get one real nice tool to have it's it's excellent works perfect you can put several different panels on both sides get yourself one this is the color right here it's an OEM color let's just uh, mix it up pour it on the gun let's spray it
All right, there's the first coat. Now I did have to turn down the fan on the gun just half a turn. That seems to be the sweet spot. Let's uh, apply the other two coats, make it three coats, and uh, it'll be it'll be done. And there it is. This is uh, three coats. Now, because this is metallic, I'll be doing a control coat. Some people call it a drop coat. Some people call it different other other different names. But I call it a control coat because you're controlling how the metallics land. Let me show you exactly what it's uh, all about to have a perfect metallic finish with no striping, no uh, tiger striping, no blotchiness or anything. Let's begin. I'm going to teach you how to control it and then just look at me how I'm doing it so that you can know. Usually when I paint, I, I'm about five inches away from the panel, okay? Now with a control coat, you're going to be about nine to ten inches away from the panel and just going to, it's going to be like a mist. You're gonna start misting all the panel, like exactly like if you were painting, but it's gonna be misting it. What that's gonna do, it's gonna allow the metallics to end up in the right place, in the right position, and flat. So let me do it so that you can uh, see how, it, uh, how I'm doing it. Now the clear that's going to be going on this truck is from American Icon C820 Euro Clear, right there. This is mixed two to one. Let's mix it up. Start applying it. Should I use this gun for clear? Yeah, let's do it. Let's see how this gun sprays clear also. Why not? All right, first coat. Now for the clear, I did bump up the pressure to 33 PSI. For the base, I forgot to mention, I was at 29 PSI. So uh, there you go, this is the first coat. Let me ap apply two more coats, which will be three coats. Let's see how the finish is. There it is, three coats. Three coats of clear, I think that's more than enough. Came out real nice. All right, starting off. First of all, I want to mention that uh, I had a couple of comments saying that why am I painting the truck in pieces? How come I don't just paint it completely? There's a couple of reasons. One of them, this truck is huge. Uh, as you saw, it has a lift and it actually, I had to remove the air from the tires in order to bring the truck down so I don't hit that uh, that ceiling that's one of the main reasons second this truck is getting an overall paint job so I'm removing everything so that I can get the paint underneath every little nook and cranny even the windshield was removed so that's those are the reasons that I'm painting it uh, separate it gives you a better finish and it allows you to go into every little nook and cranny that the truck has 
you need to do this if you want a good paint job. So the truck is ready. I'm going to be painting the, cab, the top of the cab and the cab. That's what's going to be painted. The doors are going to be removed. They're going to be painted separate. The hood's going to be removed. That's going to be painted separate. Um, another thing is that, that if you paint an entire truck in pieces, make sure, this is very important, make sure that you're using the exact same paint gallon to paint the entire truck. Now, if you buy two gallons of paint because you think it's not gonna be enough, mix them. Mix both gallons together in a bucket so that every piece that you paint is gonna be the exact same color. Because if you do use one gallon, you didn't have enough, but you have an extra gallon and you start using that one, that paint mixture might not be the same and you're gonna have a color dis difference. So make sure you mix both gallons together so that uh, everything's uniform. Also, make sure that you use the exact amount of coats that you used. On the tailgate, I used three coats and one flow coat. Not flow coat, I'm sorry. Uh, drop coat, okay? Control coat, whatever you wanna call it. So that's uh, what I'm gonna be doing to this part. Let's just get started, start applying that sealer. Here it is, first coat. You saw me apply the sealer, also one coat. I'm gonna be applying two more coats and then the drop coat. So there it is. Another thing I wanna mention, guys, is whenever you're painting, I've seen a lot of painters or a lot of uh, people not wearing a mask whenever you're painting. Guys, wear a mask. Uh, when I was like 15, 16 years old, when I first started painting, I went to the hospital twice because of this, because of not wearing a mask. 
So I learned my lesson. I'm uh, telling you my experience. Wear a mask. The third coat has been applied. Now we're gonna wait about 20 minutes for it to dry. Come back, clean it with a tack rag, and then we can start with that uh, control coat. All right, the reason for the control coat, I want the metallics to land perfectly. So we don't have any tiger striping, any blotchiness or anything. So uh, let's just wait and we'll come back. There you saw the control coat. Now I'm just gonna let it set for about 15 minutes. Come back, use the tack rag again, clean it up so that I can start applying that clear.
Here we go. I applied four coats of clear on the top, three coats of clear on the on the sides. Reason being is that this gets a lot of sunlight. But there it is. Really nice. And that's it. Doors are ready. All the little door dings that it has, they've been fixed. So let's get started and uh, let's just go. Let's just start uh, applying that sealer. Finish this truck. There it is, first coat. Like I've always mentioned, guys, you only need one coat of sealer. And yes, sealer is primer. The only thing, this is a non-sandable primer. So, all you gotta do, apply one coat, it'll cover, and you'll be good. Let's just wait about 15 minutes for it to dry. We'll come back, and we'll start applying the paint. We're on the second coat, the second coat of base. Now guys, if you want spray guns, if you want uh, any airbrushes or anything, Spray Gunner, right there guys. That's our website. Go ahead and hit them up, tell them Far Away sent you. If you want automotive parts, Vicris, Vicris.com. They'll help you out, tell them Far Away sent you. I wanna thank Spray Gunner and I wanna thank Vicris. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. So let's just uh, continue. This is the second coat. I'm gonna apply one more coat than the flow coat. Uh, not the flow coat, the control coat or drop coat. Uh, then we'll start applying that clear, but let's apply the third coat. There it is. Three coats of base and one control coat. We're good to go for that clear coat. I'm just gonna wait about 15, 20 minutes and uh, start applying that clear looks real nice and as you can see I did remove everything all the seals everything that's what you need to do in order to get the perfect paint job because a lot of painters just cover it up with tape which is not good I don't know if you've seen a bunch of paint uh, that's been sprayed that they'd start peeling from that area 
the best thing is to remove everything that is the professional way that is the best way and uh, there's some some tips there's some tips for you guys so uh, the door handle I also removed it it's right there the other one's black so it's gonna remain black First coat, first coat of clear. Now let me let it, this set for about 15 minutes. Come back, apply two more coats. I'm gonna be applying three coats of clear and uh, we'll be done, all right? So let me just uh, wait those 15 minutes. I'll bring you back once uh, the three coats have been applied so that you can look at them. We are one step closer to finishing this truck. There it is, after three coats. We're continuing, we're continuing with the grill, the hood, and the front uh, top of the bumper. That's what's gonna be next. I'm moving around the truck. It's, uh, everything's been fixed, everything's been sanded. So let's just begin. Also guys, hit that subscribe button. I know that there's a lot of people that uh, are watching my videos that are not subscribed. It helps a lot. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. And uh, I appreciate it. Thank you. Let's begin. Before starting to apply the sealer, I finished this sanding. The sanding right now, it's at 400 wet. Okay? Because I've had several uh, emails stating that when they apply the sealer, uh, it comes out rough like primer uh, it doesn't it doesn't supposed to come out rough guys it's supposed to come out perfect like if it was paint so uh, you need to sand it down all the way to 400 wet or 600 wet and you'll be good you can start with uh, 180 if uh, you have a primer and then work yourself up to the 400 600 range also, they've been asking, what is your favorite sealer? Uh, the only sealer that I've trusted and that I have uh, ever sprayed is this one, the Uricam sealer, guys. It's uh, 411, four parts of sealer, one part of the catalyst, and one part of the reducer. It has worked for years and never had any issues with delamination or anything. So. Uricam paint sealer. It's one of the best ones that I have used.
right there. The sealer, as you can see, it's like if it was paint. Nice and smooth. It doesn't supposed to come out rough. So just make sure that you have your gun adjusted properly and uh, I'm applying it at 28 PSI, 29 PSI. There you go, first coat. Now I'm just gonna let it set for 15, 10, 15 minutes. It's about 89 degrees in here. So it should dry pretty quick. But I'll bring you back once the third coat is, uh, is applied so that I can show you how to do that uh, drop coat or control coat. Three coats have been applied. Now I waited about five, 10 minutes waited about five ten minutes now I'm gonna start applying that drop coat control coat and uh, just look at the way I'm doing it I'm gonna be a little bit farther from the panel let's go Now I know it's nice and even. Now I can just let it dry for about 10 to 15 minutes. Come back, use a tack rag, clean it up, and start applying that clear.
that's the uh, first coat of clear now I'm um, just gonna wait about 10 to 15 minutes for it to dry a bit come back apply uh, two more coats I'm gonna apply three coats to the four coats to the hood just because it's gonna get, be getting more sun and three coats to these parts Here it is. I applied four coats to the hood, three coats to these parts right here. Nice and even. Looks good. Now, just gonna let it dry. All right, as you can see, I'm gonna start. I did remove this door handle and I did remove this panel. Why am I doing all this? Because I need to remove the door. Now the door pan, the handle had two uh, nuts right there that had to be come off. Now I'm gonna start removing all the moldings and the seals from the door. All this needs to come off if you want to get the perfect uh, finish on a on a paint job. So let's just start removing all these. Then we'll start disconnecting the wiring and start removing the door. We're also gonna be replacing these uh, vinyl strips here. Uh, these are all burnt out. I already did that on the other side. Let me show you real quick, but we are going to be replacing them. These are the new ones on the other side. So it looks a lot cleaner, a lot nicer. We're going to be doing the same thing. Hey, you're not going to help me? right there as you can see moldings have been uh, removed now now we can start sanding all this area also have it ready for that paint there we go we disconnected it now let's uh unbolt this this is the one that holds the door open and let's remove these bolts right here that one's going to be real easy i'm going to have to close the door so that i can remove them from the other side i'll show you right now there you go i closed the door now the bolts right there let's remove them and then we can just unhook the door from the latch 
and it'll come apart. And that is how we do that. Back door is removed. We're gonna do the exact same steps in the front, the front door. The wiring has been disconnected. Now I'm gonna remove this handle. This handle's not gonna be painted. I also remove handles. Why? Because the same reason. I want all the paint to get in there. I already undid this portion right here. All we do, remove it right there, put it aside, remove this one, it'll be good. There you go. Everything's off. Moldings are off. The mirror's off. Everything is off. Now, let's remove the door. So we're ready to paint. But let me take you to the back of the my house. Show you something. The doors are ready. This is the following day. But it's raining. Really. So I'm just gonna wait, guys. Uh, for some reason every weekend starts raining and you're saying why do you paint on weekends I do have a full-time job guys this is my only chance that I can paint on the weekends and uh, for some reason every weekend there's bad weather Jesus so I'm just gonna wait guys I don't like painting when it's raining there's a lot of moisture in the air you don't want that trapped in your paint job so I hope uh, you enjoyed this little video on how to remove doors. <laughs> Finally, the weather cleared up so that I can start painting these doors and finishing that truck. As you saw the previous video, I was, uh, well, the live video, I was buffing uh, the tailgate. I already buffed the other two doors. So uh, it's getting done. Let's uh, just mix that sealer, start applying it. The doors are ready. All this was little door dings that it had. They're fixed, they're ready to go. The sealer has been applied. Now I've been asked several times uh, through email and through the comment section that if I have to sand the sealer, no, you do not sand the sealer. The sealer 
Once you apply it, you can apply your paint right over it. So let's just mix up the paint and uh, start applying it. I'm going to apply three coats. Let's go with the first one. All right, you saw me apply three coats. I'm gonna wait about five to 10 minutes for it to dry a little bit, then come back, start applying that uh, control coat, drop coat, whatever you wanna call it. There you go, you saw the control coat. I was just a little bit farther away from the panel. The PSIs were the same, 28 PSI, and I just, 
I don't want to say missed it, but I just glided my gun all the way down, making sure that the metallics were landing perfectly. That is the control coat, drop coat, uh, whatever. So let's just uh, let it set for about 10 minutes. Come back, start applying that first coat of clear. Now, on the clear, let me give you a little tip, guys. Do not, the first pass of clear, do not hit it real thick. Do not hit it real wet. It will run on you. Uh, just kind of like, uh, I want to say mist it, but not too much. A little bit uh, heavier than a mist. It's just for you to get that uh, adhesion perfect for the other two or three coats that are going to come. All right, so let me just uh, mix it up and start applying that clear. Just pay attention how I'm doing it and let's get going. There we go. As you can see, it's not shiny. It's a little misty, but there it is. I was going 50% overlap. 50% overlap on the clear. So that is the first coat. Now, all we gotta do, I'm gonna wait 10 to 15 minutes for it to dry, come back, apply two more coats, and we'll be done. And that is how you do that. Nice, shiny, ready to go. Very good, very, very good. Now I'm just gonna let them dry for a couple of days, 
come back start buffing those put them back in the truck but the other side of the doors are already buffed let me take you over there so I can show you these are the other doors nice buffed straight all right let's begin these fenders and bedsides have been prepared they have been primered and blocked these are fiberglass it's a little trickier to get them as straight as possible because of the casting but they're ready let's just uh, start applying that sealer now uh, the sealer I am gonna apply it at 28 psi um, and it's gonna be with the welcome carbonial 360 light uh, with a 1.3 tip let's begin everybody everything has been gra uh, <laughs> wax and grease removed so we're good we're good to go
There it is. Now it's one color. Sealer's applied. Nice. We're just going to let it uh, set for about 15 minutes. Come back. Tack rag it. Start applying that paint. First coat, 
first coat has been applied now be mindful where the airflow is at as you guys see that I start from this end and move my way towards where the fans are why the airflow is going this way so by the time I go to this one all the airflow or all the overspray is going to this one and I'm jumping so just be mindful it's a nice way to keep your job clean be mindful where the airflow goes so I'm just gonna apply two more coats and then the control coat I'll bring you back once the control coat has been applied so that I can uh, start applying that clear I don't want to bore you with the same process but uh, I'm just gonna apply two more and the control coat I applied three coats and the control coat and it's good now we're gonna let it set for about 15 minutes come back use a tack rag clean it up and start applying that clear looking good clear I'm using it's from American Icon C820 Euro clear right there and there you go let's uh, start applying it I'm using the welcome Carbonio 360 light clear gun with a 1.2 tip with the MP air cap let's get to it
So this is the first coat of clear and it is looking nice. So uh, we're just going to apply two more coats. I'm going to apply three coats to this. I am going to buff them, but I'm going to apply three coats and that'll be it. These are the final parts from that tundra to be painted. I do have some other little miscellaneous things, but they're a different color and they're probably just clear. But there it is. All right, I'll bring you back once the three coats of clear have been applied so that you can just check them out. Real quick guys, if you want to help the channel, there's a link below to my Cash App, my PayPal. It really helps. Uh, YouTube's not really helping out anymore. So if you want to help the channel so I can continue making more videos, I would highly, highly appreciate it. And thank you. There it is. Three coats are clear. Now after this, I'm just gonna let it set for a couple of days. Come back, start buffing them. I am gonna show you how I'm gonna buff. Uh, I'm gonna start with the doors, the doors that I painted on the previous video. That's what I'm gonna be showing you. And uh, I'll be doing the same thing to the entire truck. All right guys, real quick video. I'm gonna show you how to turn this into a real nice looking headlight. Let's begin. First of all, I'm gonna take my DA sander and I'm gonna use 400 grit sandpaper. I'm gonna scuff them out like that. There you go, that's what you want. Now you, if you don't have a DA sander, you can do it by hand. Just get yourself a, a 400 grit sandpaper. Now you can do it with water also. You can sand it down with water. I just prefer to do it with a DA, but that's the way it needs to be. Next, what you need to do, cover up all the parts that you don't want clear, clean it up, have it ready for that, uh, for that clear. Next step, get yourself some adhesion promoter. A lot of uh, painters don't use adhesion promoter, but what I've noticed when I apply the adhesion promoter, the clear that you're gonna apply will last a lot, lot longer. So just apply some adhesion promoter uh, and you'll be ready. There it is, just let it set, let it dry for about 15 minutes, give or take, and you'll be ready for that clear. There it is, it's getting its clearness back. Now, I usually apply three coats. So this is the first coat. I'm gonna wait about 10 minutes in between each coat. I'll bring you back once the third coat has been applied so you can see it. And that is how you clear some headlights. They're nice, they're new. Now let it dry, install it back in the car, and you can see again. First of all, these are gonna be all the materials that are gonna be used. Uh, this is a compound that I'm using. It's one of the best compounds actually that I have 
ever used. I used to use the 3M product, the perfected product, but I noticed that this one, the Wizard, cuts a lot quicker, polishes a lot quicker than the 3M products. So I'm gonna be using that. You can use this compound with foam, with a foam pad, but or you can use it with a wool pad. I'm gonna be using it with a wool pad because my uh, my buffer has that uh, a quick disconnect. So that's what I'm gonna be using. I've been using the wool pad for years, so that's what uh, I'm gonna continue using. Also, I have the foam, which is gonna be for the polishing, for the, for the part number two, the machine polish. That's what it's gonna be used. You can also use the foam with uh, with that one. All right, next you're gonna have, I'm gonna go with this one, the deer uh, abrasives. This is a 2000 grit sandpaper right here. Let me open it up real quick. Right there, 2000 grit. That's to start cutting the, the clear. Then I'm gonna be using a Trizac. This is 3000 grit. But all of both of these are gonna be used with an interface pad you do need an, an, an interface pad to do the cut and buff guys i recommend it it's going to cut the clear a lot quicker so uh you do need a da and your polisher this is a dewalt polisher with variable speed so let's just begin let me show you how to do it this is the door that I'm going to be buffing. I already buffed the entire truck, uh, but I'm just going to show you on this door. I did the exact same process to the entire vehicle. So let me start sanding it. I'm going to start with 2000 grit. Remember, install your interface pad. You are going to need it. Got your sandpaper right here. Let's, uh, let's begin. All of these products, guys, the wizard products and all that, you can get them at high Q. High Q paints. Uh, just tell them Far Away sent you. I'm gonna leave all the information in the description below. They got everything you need to do your buffing. And now you can see that it's dull. There's no orange peel. Now, this is 2000 grit. Now I'm gonna move to 3000 grit. 3000 grit, it's been applied. Let's start sanding. There it is, with the 3000 grit sandpaper. It's ready to buff. Let's bring the buffer. Make this shine.
right there. As you can see how quick it brings out the shine with wizards. Real nice. Beautiful. Now, you might be asking, how come you're not going all the way down? Down here, all this portion, it has a texture for the rocks. Um, most of the trucks have them, so there's no need for me to buff that down, down there. I don't want to take that texture out, but uh, there it is. Now that it's buffed, get your compound number two from Wizard and eliminate all the swirls that might be there. You do need your black foam pad to use that, uh, that liquid. Let me apply it, start buffing. And there it is. That is how you do the buffing. I did exactly the same thing to the entire truck. And all we need to do now is just wash it. Get it ready for that customer. Let me wash it and uh, show it to you. How it came out. Here it is. What do you guys think? Looks really nice. Came out really nice. And as you can see, the paint matched. So you can paint the car in pieces. The only thing is, use the same can. Uh, if you buy two gallons, mix it together so that uh, you'll have one uniform gallon. But there it is. And this is gonna be it for this video. Thank you very much. Subscribe to the channel, hit those links below so that you can help out. Thank you guys. Hope you like this video, I hope you like this build. And like always, God bless.